Hello YouTube, uh, I'm Guillaume from Tomen here at uh, GitCon on day two and I have the pleasure to be sitting with the lovely Harry hey. from Two Notes. Um, so today's subject is going to be the latest Two Notes captor, which sits nicely over this Marshall Plexi over there. Hmm. I'm no, uh, that's uh, all right. Yeah, that's yeah, all right. My, my legs, I'm just trying uh. to get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, like, all right, basically, what, what does that do? So this is a load box uh, that comes in three different variations. So you have the 4, 8, and 16 ohm. Mm -hmm. And essentially what it does is it puts an appropriate load onto your tube amp or your solid state amp if you wanted to use that. Um, yeah, right. Uh, and basically, with an appropriate load, you can then attenuate the volume via the 20 dB attenuation on the back or via the through output on the back. Um, and then the front over here, if we can get shot this one as well. You also have the XLR out over here, TRS output uh, line level over here with an analog uh, cab sim, both for bass and for guitar. Or you can have it off, uh, which is what I usually do. Um, and then for use with basically our, our Wolf sound plugin. Yeah, and right. This actually comes with 16 virtual cabinets with purchase as well. Okay, so cool. And so like practically what it does is just it's going to take the sound from your amp dial it to a proper level without sort of... It basically allows you to literally dime out a 100 watt amplifier and then attenuate it. All right. So whereas like a 100 watt amplifier would, would blow your eardrums away, um, a good example is like loads of guys in America who are taking their Fender Blues, hmm. going into pubs and clubs and things, and um, they can't get the, you know, fenders, fenders have to be loud. Yeah, you need good. to push them. Yeah. yeah, so with this basically you can, you can have it as loud as you like, if you wanted to go through the through and like have it blow off your ear drum and you're playing like a stadium or something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. You, you can do it, it's great. But then you can also you put it out to the front of house. You're just not using the attenuator. Yeah, All right. but if you're in a club or a venue or something, then there's minus 20 dB on the back of that, which is currently what we're actually using at All the right. moment. And that will allow you to have it at a, a miking volume as well as also a listening, like we dimed out one earlier and it was yeah, yeah no it was insane know, it was mad. So one of one of those the revs yeah it was the hundred watt monsters yeah yeah that was absolutely amazing it was it was really cool what i'll do is as you go through yeah i'll just whack this and dime it up sure and you'll just you'll be able to hear that there's you can actually hear the valves really moving let's do that and we can still talk cool <laughs> okay. right go on then. on the master. So how about we push it even further and we'll just whack everything on 10. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go across the board. Let's go for that. I'm literally just. <laughs> it's like having, like having faith in your product. Like, I'm are you everything. sure? Like you could bleed out if, yeah. if that went like full blown. Yeah, all right. I all right, promise cool, you it's not. Cool. This thing is wonderful. Cool. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Go on. <laughs> Is everything all the way up? Every, everything. Everything is gone. <laughs> I mean, this this basically allows you. So even if you had something that's over 100 watts, yeah, you could still use this. To, obviously, within reason, it takes a 100 watt RMS. Oh, that's yeah, a key uh, thing yeah, to yeah, mention as well. Sure. RMS. Yeah. Um, but should you go over? I mean, there's a lot. There are a lot of load boxes, and I know that a big gripe among um, a lot of two, like you know common two players, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. like the older generation, yeah, is kind sure. of like a load box could damage your amplifier. Mm. Best thing about the capture is the fact that it will never damage your amplifier. 
So it, as soon as it gets too warm, it's taken too much load, mm. or it gets to the point where it could damage your amplifier and the load is you know starting to not take as much, yeah, yeah, it shuts sure. itself down. But it doesn't just shut itself down, it attenuates the volume all the way down, cools itself, but it still carries on giving an appropriate load to your amplifier. So it will yeah, never right. ever so no, not give your appropriate load. So there's never any risk to the valves, to any part of the amp. Dang. And it will constantly sound Go good. On. Yeah, because like it's... Also like worth mentioning it is also 100% analog. You get the full tube, full tone thing going on at like a very reasonable level. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, th this is this is my favorite thing within my studio at the moment. I know that sounds biased, but like it is. It I, is. I don't, I, mean, I don't care. Like yeah, this no, thing sure. is awesome. So yeah. Um, I mean, like going alongside like pretty much every single head that I've heard so far. There's been no adjustment to sound. There's it literally is is clean. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. Cool man. I wish I wish I wish we we're at Tomant right now just to have the DB meter in the room and show. Yeah, the show. Room, yeah, yeah, Friday, yeah, yeah. Friday, it feels Friday. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking That's the time to explain that. It's no problem. That. That. I really appreciate you. Yeah. Time. Yeah. So cool. I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, click on it, subscribe, do whatever. Um, uh, we're back every Thursday with new videos, so if you want to see them, again, subscribe button somewhere there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.